Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and this is the moment of truth. So, what you can see in the front of you is the Flex E-Board by Slick Revolution, a UK based company who makes electric uh, skateboard. And uh, what I've done so far is worked really hard for a couple of days ordering bits and bobs and also all day today making the prototype uh, a change to this uh, already perfect board so let's get uh, to it for people who don't know I done a couple of videos of uh, how to replace the uh, original uh, battery pack on the flex e-board and while I was doing it because I am an engineer by uh, education I kind of clocked to the fact that uh, the battery connection to the speed controller is really really smart and actually does have a uh, a connector as you can see on a normal lipo battery that has been used in a lot of uh, rc uh, toys like uh, helicopters like this one here this is why it is in a uh, in a photo or in the screen this one here in particular i built myself so uh the battery uh, connector is actually a multiple use connector so you can actually change this battery with this type of connector a lot of times and it's not going to be no problem whatsoever so my thoughts were well as soon as i saw this connector i was thinking hold on a second so if the disconnecting and connecting the battery is not a problem why cannot we have the board with a replaceable battery the only question mark was uh, with the original fixings that are coming with the board which were a standard a uh, screws as you can see over here with tons of uh, washers and lock washers and everything else and obviously this requires tools and time so my thoughts were let's come up with an idea how could you have a uh, board with a battery that is in your backpack and then if you do go for a longer journey you just replace it really quickly so here it is i've came up with a solution and uh, at the moment what i will do is guys i'm gonna carry out a test on how fast would it take me to replace the battery on flex e-board I don't have a second battery so what I will do is I pretend I do I will take this battery off stop for a second and use the same battery to put it back on and I will take time of this happening so as you can see this is all zeros please give me a bit of a break because obviously I'm going to be recording at uh, this action so it's going to take hope probably a little bit longer but I will do is I will take my time and uh, this time that's going to show be shown here will be longer than normal okay so let's get started let's press the start button and uh, here we go the time is now on the battery is securely it is securely on on the board at the moment as you can see and let's get started so bang let's go and it's already 15 seconds on the clock which we can probably take all the time that we will take me to replace the battery. So, what I'm doing at the moment is I am taking the fixings off that I have uh, created for this uh, for this board. It's only a prototype. Hopefully, it will be uh, taken into consideration by the company, and uh, maybe. God knows, only God knows, maybe this will become a production product, production line product, if you wish. As you can see, I am not using any tools whatsoever. We are on one minute at the moment. Uh, I'm not using any tools uh, to dismantle this, uh, this board or taking the battery off. And we're almost there. There are 10 uh, fixings uh, to be uh, removed. And I've got one more. So, it's one minute 
and uh, 36 seconds and the board is now disconnected so let's pull the board off and this uh, connector that I was telling you about the same one as it is used uh, on the uh, on the flying helicopters or, or any RC models and it's as easy as pulling the part not using obviously the cables themselves just the battery uh, connector so you have to pull on the battery connector so while talking and spending obviously more time that it normally will take within two minutes the battery is now off the flex e-board that's how fast it is guys two minutes so two minutes the battery if it did run off run out of the juice it's off the board so what we can do is now I'm going to stop the clock and just to prove you guys look it's 2 minutes and 35 seconds obviously I'm talking and uh, doing extra things that I normally would do if you are in a park trying to replace the battery so I will stop the clock so 2 minutes to take the old used battery off let's reset the clock start it again and now let's pretend that this is a new battery which is exactly the same one I just taken off so you're taking the battery off your out of your backpack and now you're going to reinstate it because it's fully charged and there we go so you put the battery back on your board you take the uh, the connectors you plug them together push them tightly together wiggle it in to the space bang it's now sitting where it's supposed to be and now you take my prototype fixings and you start putting them back into place so it was two minutes to take the old board the old battery or the used battery off the board and now let's see obviously I'm talking and uh, I'm not concentrating fully on the board right now but there'll be a true reading and no matter what time it's going to come up with is definitely going to be much faster and much more convenient than actually uh, doing this without the prototype fixings. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm catching every single fixing into the correct position, catching the thread so I do not cross thread it. And we are at one and a half minutes at the moment. And we got two more fixings to uh, install. So, it's one minute and 50 seconds. Now what I'm doing is, after I caught all the fit, uh, fixings, I am tightening them up because you never want to uh, tighten any fixings until you catch all of them into the thread and then you go one by one and uh, just using no tools whatsoever, you tighten them all up. So it's 2 minutes and 20 seconds at the moment and we're all done. The new battery is reinstated and everything is nice and tight, no tools whatsoever. So let's be completely realistic. Obviously I've done this once before or twice before when I was prepping for this video. So I had a bit of a uh, understanding on how to do this much faster. But to be understanding right now, so we got 2 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Let the time clock go. So what we can see at the moment is a fresh battery. Imaginary, but a fresh battery. So I was able to take the old battery off within two minutes. I was able to replace the battery, the new battery, back onto the board within two minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm still talking and the clock is only showing three minutes and 25 seconds even if I will just keep on talking right now and uh, take my time and I will 
put the old bag, imagine I'm putting the old battery back in the bag or whatever not, it's still 3 minutes and uh, 42 seconds, let's call it 4 minutes. So 4 minutes with all the talking is to put the new battery on and 2 minutes to take it off. So, even if I will be very generous and I'll say it takes 6 minutes to replace the battery on your Flex e-board without any tools whatsoever, you can do it anywhere you want, in any park, in on any bench or anywhere, that's not bad. I actually tried to do this before uh, the video, obviously I wasn't talking, I wasn't concentrating on the quality of the video, uh, I, was, I managed to do it in uh, I believe 4 minutes plus. So if we round it up to 5 minutes, that is really really good compared to uh, obviously what you would have to do with the original fixings. And just to make sure that this actually did work, as you can see the video is continuous. I normally have like uh, breakdowns in the video and I do some sort of uh, like you know video into video movements and everything else. I didn't do that particularly so you can see that this is truthful video with no uh, changes to it. So let's turn the board on, let's turn the remote on and let's see if what I've done within five minutes replacing the battery actually does work and there we go works just fine. So how do you like that guys? Any owner out there of the board that is electrically uh, driven would like to have an opportunity to replace the battery. It takes about four to five hours to fully charge this battery and now with my idea it takes five minutes to replace one for another. Obviously I do understand there are cost applications, you have to buy a secondary battery, but again, it's a hobby. No one will spend the money on electric e-board if you don't have it. So would you go on an extra quarter of a mile? I would. I will be getting myself another battery because it would be so much nicer to be out there on the board cruising around knowing that if you have to you can just sit down somewhere in the park or on the bench or just stop on the street whatever take the new fresh recharged battery and replace it without any tools within five minutes and just to show you a bit up close this is how the board would look like with a prototype fixings that I came up with Quite sweet, isn't it? It's not bad at all. And these fixings as well, just to mention, these are fully uh, rust-free uh, stainless steel uh, thumb nuts, zinc plated rods and plastic sleeves. So it's definitely, for me, is the way to go. Five minutes and you have another battery installed on the Flex e-board and you have another eight to nine miles on it Without waiting for five hours. That is cool. And obviously just to uh, For people who are concerned about maybe flexibility of board or anything like that the fixings are completely uh, Independent they're not touching the battery. They're not affecting the flex of the board because if you imagine the board when you flex on it will move downwards this way and the uh, battery uh, segments will actually open up not close in so it's all good I've tested the flex on it no issues whatsoever I have not tested this fixings being on the street yet I will do so but the weather at the moment in UK is not very forgiving it's raining all day long and it'll be raining tomorrow so I probably won't be able to test it out 
but at the moment it looks great it looks clean five minutes and you replace the battery and another good part about this is that you can include checking the fixings of the battery as a part of your pre-ride routine obviously you have to check your board before you go on the road very quickly for a couple of seconds check all your wheels check all your nuts and bolts and everything else what we can do is just slightly pinch every single fixing for the battery making sure it's nice and tight and you know you're good to go so guys hopefully my time of research and uh, idea coming up with idea will not go without uh, an appropriate attention if you like the video please subscribe please like it please share it slick revolution i really hope you'll come back to me with uh, positive or negative comments any comments whatsoever would be appreciated but this i think just made this board even better than it already was this board was awesome and it is awesome board but with this type of uh, quick release battery uh, fixings prototype i think it'll be even better board it's definitely to me definitely better board i'm gonna have this system i'm gonna keep the system as it is on my board and i will order another one just to have it in my in my backpack if i want to go for a longer journey so what i have done when i was making these fixings and prototype i actually uh, made videos step-by-step -step videos on uh, what parts you need and how to get them on cut and ready and everything else so what i decided to do is if i get a, obviously um some interest in this video on youtube i will upload further videos on how to actually build buy and build these fixings okay there is quite a bit of thinking behind them obviously they're not just some sort of uh let's just put something together there's some good thought behind these fixings okay i'll go into more detail if you guys are interested uh, let's put a number to a video as soon as i get uh let's say either 200 uh, views on the video or if i get an extra let's say 50 subscribers i will upload the rest of the videos so everyone wins hope you liked it guys if you didn't comment if you did comment if you want more information let me know in the comments well that's it really it's too many comments now at the end of this video but anyway see you later guys and please ride safe